Well, now concerning that situation in Japan, I'm now joined live from Vermont by Arnold Gunderson. He's an energy advisor at Fairwinds Associates, a corporation specializing in environmental, nuclear safety and energy issues. Mr. Gunderson, thanks so much for joining us live here on RT. Now, we're reporting at the moment that there are suggestions that a partial nuclear meltdown is now underway. Can you explain to us what does that mean exactly? Um, yeah, what it means is that the nuclear fuel has become brittle uh, and that's evident because of the hydrogen explosions that have occurred that process makes nuclear fuel brittle and the pieces of nuclear fuel inside are about as big as my pinky that joint on my pinky they have all fallen into the bottom of the nuclear reactor there are thousands and thousands of those pieces in the center of those pieces is molten uranium um, it's, this is not a nuclear chain reaction, this is not a, a nuclear bomb. This is the radiation left over after the chain reaction has started. Um, this, this will go on for several months and um, the heat's got to be removed. Okay. And if you can't... Okay, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but you say this is not a nuclear bomb, but would not the effects be the same as a nuclear bomb if obviously it does reach meltdown and there is an explosion? The chemicals that are going to be released are similar. Actually, the chemicals released from a, radioactive chemicals released from a nuclear bomb disappear quicker than the radiation that uh, is released in a nuclear power plant. The uh, fission spectrum in a nuclear power plant has longer lived radiation than the fission spectrum in a, uh, in a bomb. But are we looking at an apocalypse? Uh, I, I read online reports on websites looking at international newspapers that word is used many times exaggeration or is that true well uh, my term is this is chernobyl on steroids this is uh, this will be worse than chernobyl exactly how much worse i don't know but um it's pretty clear to me that uh, that it will be worse than chernobyl you say will be do you think it's definitely going to happen or do you think crisis could be averted no i don't think crisis can be averted uh, these can uh, the radiation exposures are so high on site that I don't think um, human beings can uh, can get into the areas that need to be accessed in order to put the fire um, to put the fires out and also to get water into the locations where the uh, the, the heat is the highest. Worse than the Chernobyl, so you I, say. So what will be the effects? Not just for those people in the vicinity who we understand are being evacuated in just a 12 mile radius, but what about Tokyo, where radiation levels are at are 10 times above the norms at the moment, and beyond Tokyo, the atmosphere, the sea. The, the Asiatic region. Well, I think uh, you're, you're, if there's any lucky thing that's happened so far, it's the wind has mainly been blowing out to sea. If the wind turns to the to the south, I, I expect you will see radiation in Tokyo. I don't believe it'll be enough to evacuate Tokyo, but <clears throat> I think it would be prudent to take precautions and and uh, you know try to stay out stay out of the uh, of the plume. You know the Asiatic region. Uh, they're already beginning to reroute airlines because they're afraid of the, the radiation landing on the airplane. And, you know, a, a plane from uh, from Tokyo to Moscow, for instance, will fly through that plume. So it's it will definitely begin to affect Asiatic travel pretty but much I, I, immediately. I appreciate you're an, an energy advisor. Um, you're a specialist in environmental, nuclear safety and energy issues. But your message, some people may say, is scaremongering. Uh, can we be absolutely sure this is going to happen? Because it's a very different message that the people people in Japan are getting from the government or do you think the government are not telling them the truth? I don't think the government is lying. I do think the government is not telling them everything it knows. You know, I studied Chernobyl and I was an expert witness on Three Mile Island and the government is always behind the eight ball on these things. They are deliberately trying to downplay the amount of radiation being released. You know, we saw it in the Gulf of Mexico too with the oil spill. They underestimated the amount of oil. That seems to be the way bureaucracies work. Let me just quickly ask you about the uh, International Atomic Agency. It's just reacting now to the crisis, promising to send a team to Japan. Many people will criticize it for not acting fast enough. Are those criticism, criticisms justified, do you think? Oh, absolutely. The International well, Atomic Energy Commission estimated 5% of the core had failed. 
In fact, 70% had failed. So these guys have come in with low ball estimates for quite a few days now. Could it have done anything though, the IAEA? Could it have physically help before now? I don't think there's anything an expert can do to physically help at this point. I think these reactors are on runaway. Arnold Gunderson, very interesting to hear what you have to say. We appreciate your time. Energy advisor, okay. Fairwinds Associates, corporation specializing, as I say, in environmental, nuclear safety and energy issues, joining us live in Vermont. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Bye-bye.